Hello everyone, I am Dr. Asif from I7. So today we are going to see a case of a band-shaped keratopathy which is also called as BSK. BSK is basically the uh, there is a calcium deposits on the cornea outer part of the eye following which the patient develop a whitish opacity. This ha can happen because of various reasons. Mainly it can be because of post trauma or in case of an oil filled eyes for a very long period or in case of chronic uveitis. So in these cases what happens there will be calcium deposits. So because of this calcium deposits because the calcium salts are white so you will develop a white opacity on the outer part of the cornea. So this leads to a cosmetically unappealing appearance and also it can cause little bit of decrease in vision depending upon the amount of calcium deposits. So here we have a patient she is a 17 year old female patient she has underwent a, a retina surgery and following which oil has been filled in her eyes and uh, right now she doesn't have much visual potential but she has developed whitish opacity in her left eye so in this patient we can see this whitish opacity in the left eye so that's because of the calcium deposits so these calcium deposits can be removed so after removing uh, these calcium depo deposits there will be a cosmetically better appearance and both eyes could appear similar though this is not done for visual potential in her case in some cases it does improve some amount of visual gain depending upon the vision visual potential of the eye the, how is this done so we use a chemical called edta so this chemical attaches or binds to the calcium and this removes the calcium so leading to a uh, removal of the calcium and leading to a normally appear, appearing cornea Okay, so the first step what we did was we just uh, used alcohol and then we have debrided the outer layer that, that is epithelium. So after de uh, debriding the epithelium, the calcium deposits usually is in the sub-epithelial layer, it's just below the epithelium. So we have to remove the epithelium. After removing the epithelium, we have added, right now we are adding EDTA. So this EDTA chelates, the chelates in the sense it combines with the calcium. So after it combines with the calcium, we will be able to debride the calcium much easier and EDTA usually is available as a powder form which we have formulated so you have to keep the EDTA solution soaked soaking on the cornea for at least three to five minutes so after that you have to repeat the procedure multiple times till you feel sufficient amount of cornea is devoid of calcium so with every process every step you keep doing it you will feel the cornea gets slightly clearer you can see these areas the calcium is getting chelated and it's getting removed here in the step when i started when i tried to do a debridement these calcium were not coming out as we soaked in edta solution you can see this is the area where you can see the calcium deposits i'm putting for the second time again soak it for some more time so this shows that the calcium has been entirely removed from the cornea and now you can see the, how the, the inferior part of the cornea which was totally hazy have become clear. So this shows the end of the procedure. You can see how the cornea, the entire opaque part has been cleared off. I'm going to place a BCL. All these white part you are seeing, these are inside the cornea. Deep stromal corneal opacity along with peripheral anterior synecae. So our aim is not to clear this this might need a tattooing secondary tattooing or something so our aim is to clear the central part so at the end of the procedure since we have debrided the epithelium so i'm placing a contact lens bandage contact lens which i'll remove after three to five days so this comes to the end of the procedure so edt chelation is a very simple procedure and it can be very effective in removing the calcium deposits on the cornea but you might need to do multiple times EDTA chelation to get to get the cornea much clearer and also you need to balance it you shouldn't be over aggressive and cause stromal damage and you cannot like uh, leave the calcium also behind patient will be called tomorrow for follow up and after five days for the removal of contact lens patient will be put, will be put on antibiotics and lubricants but she might not need any other medications these even these medications are just for a week or two weeks then you will stop all the medication. Thank you. My name is Firdaus Khan. I am Bahraish U.P. This is my small sister. She started to have an automatic pain in 2020. We have seen her in the hospital in Lucknow and Nepal. 
फिर हमें काफ़ी जगह दिखाने के बाद जल गुप्ता में हमें पता चला पर्दा उखड़ गया है फिर इनका इलाज चला वहाँ पर ट्रीटमेंट हुआ इनको कुछ राहत मिली कुछ रोशनी इनकी आई फिर अपना चार से पाँच महीने तक अच्छा रहा फिर इनको ऑटोमेटिक पेन ज़्यादा बढ़ गया जो इनकी रोशनी आई थी वो नहीं रही इनको दिखना बंद हो गया फिर हमने दोबारा सर्जरी इनकी वहीं मुरादाबाद में करवाई दोबारा सर्जरी में इनको कोई रिस्पॉन्स नहीं मिला इनका रोशनी रिटर्न नहीं आई हमने आई हॉस्पिटल सर्च किया और फिर इनको यहाँ पर लाए और हमारा ट्रीटमेंट हुआ है और इनको जो पेन हो रहा था वो पेन अभी नहीं हो रहा है बेटर फील हो रहा है इनकी सर्जरी डॉक्टर आसिफ द्वारा हुई है आज हम फॉलोअप के लिए आए हैं ये काफ़ी दर्द से निजात पा चुके हैं